Funimation has begged and pleaded for an extension of time to file their response to Vic Mignogna's appeal brief. Are they terrified? Stick with me, let's find out. Click bait. No, of course they're not terrified. Uh, no, they didn't beg and plead. None of that. None of that. They just like normal. As I said early on in the appeal, like normal, this is a big case with a lot of documents and there's going to be extensions most likely because law firms are busy because it's appeals and you have to get it right. This is, this is the chance to correct a wrong. It's also the chance to reinforce a right, depending on what side of the uh, pers uh, of the case you're on. You have to either get the court to undo something the lower court did that was incorrect, or you will assert that what the lower court did was correct and you want them to reaffirm that decision, okay? So you gotta get it right, and there's a lot of documents to go through. So Funimation has requested an extension no one opposed it. Vic's team didn't uh, oppose it. Uh, none of the other defendants opposed it. And no one should. At this early stage, there's no indication that anybody's dragging their feet or, or doing anything uh, untoward here. Except maybe Monica and Ron's lawyer when he just forgot to file. Uh, just, just decided to forget that he had, to, had a filing deadline. But even there, even there, that was only funny and only... Uh, a potential even speck of an issue because of how they acted on Twitter when Vic asked for his extension prior to the deadline. He asked all of the parties, he conferred with them, they all said, sure, of course we'll give you more time, it's an appeal. And then they had their drones go out on Twitter and uh, make this idea that they went begging open hands uh, for some extension that was anything short of reasonable. There's only one moron out there who's bald and bankrupt enough to try and convince you that asking for an extension on an appeal with this many issues against four different uh, def defendants uh, with, with thousands of pages in the record is weird. It's actually just normal. That's why I talked about it several times from when the appeal was filed to, uh, to now that expect extensions, expect delays. All the parties want to get this right, and they're, the court's going to give them the extensions. Even Rusty O'Kane missing the deadline, the court was going to give him the extension. That's likely why Vic's team didn't oppose it, because then they would look petty. They would look petty, and there's no reason to look petty, especially because you might need another extension going forward. You might need uh, some grace here or there. And while they were pricks in the undercourt about things, at the appeals court level, it's kind of a new slate. And so you got to give a little bit of grace, especially when you know the court is going to grant that grace as well. So... Uh, Funimation has moved. Their date is now the 31st of March, not the 10th of March. That doesn't change anything for any of the other defendants. That means that the other defendants' times are still where they're at. For Jamie Markey, it's March 10th for sure because there's been nothing filed. Uh, expect there to be a filing in Jamie Markey's appeal. Expect them to request an extension. It's the likely outcome. If she doesn't, if Sam Johnson just goes ahead and writes up the brief, great. Don't expect that. Expect the extension and be pleasantly surprised if he over delivers. But everybody is getting extensions on this and there's a lot to go through. So that makes sense. Uh, I don't remember if Monica and Ron have gotten a further date than March 10th. But again, this just moves Funimation's response time to the 31st. And if anybody else wants an extension to their response, it will be uh, them going ahead and requesting it on their own. That puts a ruling in this case really not before June in any likelihood because we've got March 31st for a response time. 
then Vic is going to get to respond to that and he will have uh, a time window for that response and then the court has to get around to ruling on it and uh, that can take a lot of extra time. It is an expedited process, it's an accelerated appeal and it will still take a while. So uh, I wouldn't expect an outcome before about June. Uh, it's always possible that you, we could see one in May. Uh, that's, that's a possibility, but Again, don't get your hopes up on this ending anytime soon. It's going to be a while. There's a lot to go through, and there's uh, potentially more extensions on the way. It's really going to depend on the, you know, the other defendants as well as Vic's team when they get the other defendants' responses, and they suddenly have just you know a short period of time to respond to four or well three, three different. Uh, responses their replies to those three responses um they're gonna have three documents to go through and hammer back at now granted they got to lay the foundation but they may need an extension of time on that because it's just a lot of work so extensions are normal there's nothing untoward about this there's nothing weird and no they really shouldn't have opposed it uh it's just part of the appeals process don't let anybody out there try and convince you that the extensions are somehow legally significant or strange. I know a dumb lawyer from North Carolina tried to do that with the first extension, but he's an idiot. So there's not much else to say about it. He's an idiot. He's a propagandist and he was trying to generate some sort of uh, drama for himself. I don't know why. But anyway, thanks for watching my clickbaity video uh, with the clickbaity intro. I will try not to make the title that clickbaity. All right, guys. <laughs> thanks for hanging out. I will see you at the next live stream. Peace. Peace.